Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. We have a returning hero here. Um, Luke Nolan's decided to come back in on the show. Thanks again, Luke. No problem. Always a pleasure. Um, last time you were in with us, um, it was just after the Euros. And um, you were playing with Pats then. How has your career come on since then? Yeah, it hasn't been too bad to be fair. I've uh, been to England quite a bit, went to Fleetwood. And, you know, I was over there for a couple of weeks and uh, unfortunately the deal fell through. I should ask football and you move on and then uh, yeah, came back and I've been just playing for Freehouse Slover at the minute. Training like a lunatic, so happy enough and hoping to get a League of Ireland club in the new season. And how's it, how's it going for house now? He's in the middle of the season now. Yeah, we're obviously it's been Christmas, so we haven't been doing much. But um, new season now begins now in January, so really looking forward for that to kick on. And I'm hoping to get moved to the League of Ireland as well. Okay, and in terms of um, you were saying with Fleetwood, is there anything in particular happened that just made things break down? No, obviously the League won, so they haven't got millions and millions like their Manchester City's and your Man United, so. That obviously did, did, did probably had a serve. part to play and obviously I'd love to get the leaving sort done as well so I wasn't fully committed to going as well so it worked out in the end. Okay so you got that out of the way now and now you're kind of looking forward to pushing on now in the new year. Yeah exactly I obviously have my leaving cert now in June so that's one of my main focuses as well, along with hopefully finding the club. Yeah now that would obviously be key to why you wouldn't have travelled away but now after, obviously after June you know, who, who knows, you might get open to exactly. see what happens again, but it'll depend on finding the club and coming into the new season, doing well for the club, and etc. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, there's been a couple of English clubs that came in now in the new year. I can't name them, obviously, for reasons, but I don't really want to go because, obviously, I want to get my leaving cert done, so we'll go till June and then we'll take from here because, obviously, the transfer window opens in July. So. Yeah, and obviously, now, if you're talking about clubs, I imagine... A Dublin club would be ideal for you more so than to be travelling way down the country. Of course, that'd be the ideal scenario, wouldn't it? But who knows football, what happens? Yeah, that's true. But I mean, ideally, because I would say Bray would be the furthest. Certainly, if, I, if I was you, Bray would be the furthest. I'd be, I'd be yeah. heading in, in terms of having the leaving certain now to look forward exactly. to. So you don't want to be up and down mad places. Because obviously I'm having training. Through school and stuff, you know. Yeah, because obviously I'm not driving and stuff like that, so it's exactly. going to be difficult, isn't it? Getting the trains and buses and stuff, and with time schedules, of to study, train, obviously work and stuff like that, so it's going to be difficult. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know you were saying that you're playing with Furhouse. Um, you know, on top of that, you're doing extra training. Yeah, yeah. Look, obviously we've had two weeks off now. You I've only have to come straight and train now. Yeah. <laughs> I was training there at 1 o'clock this morning, or 1 o'clock this afternoon, so yeah. it's drenched, but it has to be done, doesn't it? So difficult in the rain and it's the wind. And the hard work should pay off. It's got to be done, doesn't it? But as I said, football, it's a difficult game to make, only 90% come back, sorry, 2% make it. Yeah. So it's really difficult sport to make it, but i tell you what, when you make it, it's, it's different gravy altogether, isn't it? Yeah. Now... As I said, we we had we had Jordan in there um, earlier on today, actually a former teammate of yours. But watching him doing so well, does that motivate you to keep going as a teammate of yours and that? Yeah, obviously we played with for Ireland together, and Jordan's a class act and stuff like that. And looking at players like him, Leo Connor, Aaron Connolly, and then you obviously have Bulger running the muck, Aaron Bulger running the muck in the league of Ireland. It's, yeah. it's great watching them because obviously I'm, they're quite close to them, isn't it? So that's obviously my aim to go and do as well as all them. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, of Ireland itself, it, it seems as though the future's bright. The coaching side of things, it seems to really have stepped up again. And then you, you see the likes uh, of, like, even even Damien Duff getting involved with Rovers and stuff like that and coming out and, and tr trying to get even the kids to play. I don't know, it's a hashtag football loves us. <laughs> uh, those videos, like, it's great to see all that, like... I, I find Ireland now are really trying to actually get to terms with like a lot of our players are becoming homegrown that are actually getting into the national team and doing well whereas before it used to be players that were playing in England and stuff like that I know it's it's when they get their move but what I mean is basically they're coming through the ranks isn't it yeah they're, but yeah. they're coming up from the league from the league of Ireland then making their move but either way they're still coming 
a lot of them are coming from a League of Ireland club, which is nice to see. Because it's obviously so difficult to make it in England because you're away from your family, you're away from your friends, you're away from everything. So in England, it's more difficult. Most players come home. Example: Kevin Tonery just signed for Pats from Villa. He just came home, and if he does well, he can get a move again back back to England. So there's different players: Dave McMillan, Shani McGuire from Dundalk, Shani McGuire, Daryl Hogan. They're all great examples of players that play in League of Ireland, done really well for themselves, and then got the move. And then a great example was yesterday. I'm not saying his name because I don't know if it's it's gone out in the. In the in the open now, but he's just signed for Barney from Bolos. I've seen that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying his it. name just in case it has hasn't been in the open yet, but he's just. Oh, it's been announced. Has it? Yeah. Been yeah. That's Fud Sule anyway. What a player he is. I played with him for a Pats as well. He's just got a move, so. Yeah, yeah it was Barney, wasn't it? Yeah, Barney. Yeah, and he he was a uh, he didn't sign back for Pats for whatever personal reasons he had or whatever Pats didn't want to sign him or whatever, but he signed for Bolos, played 25 games under on the balls and got a great move to Bayern and I fully believe he's going to go and do good things yeah brilliant um, you know, just in terms of yourself going forward now uh, what would be your goals and ambitions for 2018 Obviously, yeah. this is New Year's Eve isn't it? <laughs> looking forward to tonight anyway but uh, <laughs> <laughs> get the countdown where I'm not sure yet I'm not sure yet <laughs> we'll see where it takes we'll see where the wind takes me anyway but um, yeah I'm looking forward to hopefully Making a name for myself in the League of Ireland, obviously getting a good leave in Cirque, and then who knows in the summer where it can take me. I'm really looking forward to it though. Just, just got to keep working hard and proving myself to people that are down with me. Yeah, but it's, it's the thing that is like you you put in all the work, all the hard work behind the scenes, and not not a lot of people see, like from the outside looking in, and that's the di- I I believe that's the difference in in, in a really good player. And just the good players, the really good uh, players, want to put the effort in. They don't. They don't need to advertise it. Yeah. Because I see a lot of, of players be putting it on like Instagram stories now. But when I see you, like I don't see any signs of that with yourself. I think you've gone off so- social media now. Yeah, yeah I've took taken out all social media because for me it's just a distraction, isn't it? So it's just I want to fully focus on in the new year and focusing on football and me leaving cert and just really getting the head down and getting at it and digging in because no one else needs to know as long as you know you're doing it no one else needs to know what you're doing you know what I mean that's what I said to myself there's no point in this so I'm gone and then hopefully just kick on from here and really looking forward to the new year yeah well uh, wish you all the best luck as always in uh, the new year 2018 uh, I'm absolutely certain that you'll find a club um, and um, yeah um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up Uh, Don't forget to subscribe and thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great day.